Hello, welcome. It is a crazy day. <laughs> We've got a hurricane coming and it's supposed to touch down tomorrow morning in our area. So we'll see what happens. But I thought I would come on and do a nice reading for everybody to get everybody just to see what is going on. And I'll tell you, some beautiful cards throughout. This is going to be a beautiful reading, guys. Okay, now, first card that flew out was the 10, a love, Major Arcana. It's a beautiful card, which is also a three, the Trinity. She is all love. I mean, look, she's got the wings. She's got the beaming at her heart. She's got all the energy, the butterflies, the flower. She's just flowing with love. It's, it's an amazing card. Let's see what she says. The fourth reason for being is to experience love in all of its forms, from codependent and, and need-based love to big, unconditional, universal love. And to understanding that love comes in many different forms and guises. There is the innocent, trusting love that a child has for a parent. An unconditional love a parent has for a child. There is love we feel when we do the things we love. And the love we feel when others appreciate what we do. There is our love for family, love for community, love for nature, love for the gods. We worship to, we choose to worship. Whether those gods be born of science or religion or the humans we choose to idolize, there is sexual love, platonic love, playful, affectionate love, selfless love, crazy love, and more. We are here to learn that love is a multifaceted as we are, and that love is neither in strictical good nor bad. Love is a cosmic force that will shape us or break us depending on how we choose to experience it. And just as we have a choice in what we experience, we have a choice in how we perceive and experience love. Wow, that is a beautiful card. The card that flew out with the love card. choices we've all been getting the choice card a lot because we're all going through a lot of choices right now in our life and it's the lovers there's a mature decision to make as you reach a turning point you may need to make an investment in the future a financial plan buying a home or moving for, from work for example and the choice isn't straightforward in relationship you bond and commit or walk away an additional meaning of this card for those who are single is being ready for new serious love relationships love is coming advice make your choice based on your long-term further rather than short-term gains in love wait for the right person rather than distract yourself with quotations that's so true i i don't think any of us think about it when we think we're in love at that point and we just kind of move in on it and, and then we realize we made the wrong choices so that is, that's a good card. This is a beautiful card. And she is all earth. She is offering up something. She's got the butterfly, the third eye, the intuitive. She's grounded to earth. She looks really innocent and pure. The ninth, the nine of earth represents clear charity and generosity. Have you suddenly found that your life is full of harmony? You are creative and happy at this time. Abundance and true, true wealth surround you. Material possessions are less important than they once were. Yet you want for nothing and have no need or desire for more. Instead, you choose to serve a higher purpose and give to others who have less. To help others in need or to support a worthy charitable cause 
is to act of generous, generous and caring spirit. But who is worthy? Who is deserving? Do you give without bias or expectation? Do you give equally to all in need? Or is your generosity conditional? What is it that you seek to gain from the act of giving? These are also questions in the nine of earth, also you to cons ask you can to consider. An act of charity born from compassion can be transformed. To know that you have played a role in helping others can inspire a sense of deep satisfaction and well-being. It can be healing not only for those who are helping, but for those who help. However, in some, it can also give rise to a sense of entitlement, a self-importance. It can inspire a belief that acknowledgement and praise should be given. To give without expectation of reward, to give simply because you can and choose to and nothing more. The nine of earth signifies that it might be time to go through your cupboards and remove all that you no longer need and do not use. Give to local charities, organizations that work to help those in need within your community. And if you have any skeletons in those cupboards, it might be wise to deal with them too. Um, that is true. Right now, there is a lot of people in need. There is a lot of things that are happening in the world. And I clean out my, my cupboards. We have a church box up the road. And I clean out my cupboards a lot and go give a lot of stuff to the church. And I think right now that in this world right now, people need more. And, you know, I've seen so many people that always have an ultimatum when they want to give money. They They have this string attached, like... I'll give you money if you do this for me. I'll do this for you if you do this for me. And that's not what it's about. That's not giving. That is a selfish control issue. And a lot of people have that. It's sad. This is a beautiful card. I love this card. This is a six of water. And she also... We have a lot of kindness and compassion cards today. We actually have, a, they're all kindness and compassion cards. And right now, and I keep saying it in the next few months, we are going to need a lot of kindness. Everybody is going to need a lot of kindness and compassion because what we are going to go through is going to call for that. She has a gift she's giving and there's magic all around her. Her third eye is just sparkling. Everything, her heart, everything is sparkling on her. She's purity and she's beautiful. The six of water is the epitome of kindness and concern. She represents all that is good and pure with human within humanity, an ideal that may strive to meet. She is kind, but not to a fault. She displays concern and care, but does not with does so with a level of emotional detachment. She is sympathetic, compassion, and giving, but not to the extent that she leaves nothing for herself. She is understanding and aware that we all think, believe, and see life in a unique way, and that this determines how we behave and respond to others. She is forgiving, but forgives because she knows the act sets her free and enables her to move forward without being weighed down by the past experiences. She is a gentle soul who overcomes all obstacles with a determination that is free of any aggression or intent to do harm. She is the peaceful warrior who wins all with a gentle touch or smile, a kind word, and a compassionate, generous nature. Does she represent an impossible idea? Do you strive to be like her? Find yourself incapable of behaving this way all the time? The six of water comes to tell you to just be you. Just be you. <laughs> Show compassion, be empathetic, understanding, and aware of all that makes us different. Be generous, but remember to keep healthy boundaries in place. Most importantly, be kind to yourself when you don't live up to your own, sometimes impossible ideas. To be the peaceful warrior, you have to be as kind and generous to yourself as you are to others. That's a good message. We can't keep giving so much that we take from ourselves, but we can't have uh, that. I'll give you this. You do this for me. The puppets on the string. 
And with that, I got the Six of Pentacles, generosity. You receive a gift, which may be money or another token of love, friendship, and support. This is feel-good money. If you're the recipient, you will feel genuinely grateful. Equally, you may be the one donating time, effort, or money. And you do this with thought and sensitivity. Whether you are giving to an individual, such as a friend who is struggling, or to an organization, such as a favorite charity, advice, receive any gift with thanks and grace. And if you are giving to others, enjoy it. Give it. Give is its own reward. That is so true. I mean, th those are beautiful cards today. Every one of these cards are beautiful. The last card we got was the love card. I had missed, you know, I kind of missed that. When I went into this, we had love. We had choices. We had the six of, or the nine of earth. We had generosity. And with this one, love. We had the ace of cups, love. This ace brings your heart desire as you mind fulfilled through an artistic pursuit of a new relationship. You may create a baby that is your per project, a new business, a book, painting, or gardening, a decorating your home. This card, along with the queen of ocean, reveals pregnancy, motherhood, and joy. The ace, while being a positive card, can also bring emotional emotions that feel overwhelming open your heart and trust you need not to be overwhelmed by emotion just be open to that to what comes to you these cards are all about love generosity forgiveness acceptance but we need to remember to also take care of ourselves don't over it's saying don't overgive. don't be all of this but don't take away from yourself because there is going to be a lot of things that we are going to need to be that coming forward in this next few months. We also got a soul helper oracle for today. And this is an 11. Live playfully and with a light heart. Listen to the voice of your inner child. And this is an absolutely beautiful card. That is the beauty of the inner child. She has the energy around her. She's got the bird. She's got nature. She's looks like she's just dreaming. She's beautiful. Heed the voice of your inner child within. It does not speak to you with words, but with the silent language of the heart. Your inner child cannot lie. It speaks with purity and truth. See or feel how it smiles. You are now ready to encounter beautiful moments on your soul path. You have become wiser and freer and you celebrate and you celebrate and have fun whenever you wish. Your inner child is delighted by your wildness and renewed playfulness. But flowers, put flowers in your hair, have fun with your inner child and grant him or her a wish. In return, you will receive a gift that this world cannot buy. Time. The inner child within you has the power to expand time. It can take you to places where time passes more slowly. Play, enjoy, your, enjoy yourself, rise above the absurd construct of time in which you live, but which in truth has absolutely nothing to do with you. Hear the whisper that reach you gently and softly. Live your life to play and you are free of time. Your helpers for the next 21 days, the power animal is the otter, the herbal essence is orange, the healing crystal is quartz, and the master number is 11. Now your master number, the digits of the double number, a master number, 11, 22, 33, etc., are not usually added together, but instead are regarded as having twice the power of that particular number. 
Give yourself the time to allow the number of the card to resonate through your body. Visualize it in front of your heart and let it circle around your body. Don't try to control this, but instead simply observe where the number wants to go. Its position may bring important information. We need to listen to what's coming from within more than what's on the outside world and how we react and how we feel at that moment. Um, that was a beautiful reading. And that is telling me that we need to love more. We need to understand more. We have to have more compassion. And we have to be helping more. So I hope everybody that is in the hurricane uh, route, the hurricanes routes, I hope they're all safe. I hope you all stay safe and have a beautiful day today make it magical and i love you all and may every step in your journey be magical you know what just be you